Now, the reason I will be showing a clip of John MacArthur sternly and truthfully responding to a child's question is because I've personally dealt with so many adults who believe you have to dumb down biblical truth so that children can understand it. And in doing so, they literally change the original context or meaning in an attempt to protect the child. Now, the truth behind why adults do this is because they believe to some degree that some lighthearted truth is too hard for children to handle and that they will be negatively affected by it. Now, that's false. It does the child no service to alter truth just because they are a child. Again, I'm speaking about lighthearted truth similar to what John is dealing with in the video regarding animals. Now, there are, there are some accounts and parts of the Old Testament that young children don't need to hear about, and that includes things like war, murder, and God killing and judgment. And this is why we do have solid biblical children's books that highlight Christian history in a way that children can be receptive to and enjoy. Overall, the point of this video is to prove that you can speak truthfully to children, young children, and that you should. The sooner they begin to grasp and process truth, the better. Now, I think John MacArthur does that perfectly in this clip in which he hilariously deals with a young child's question in regards to whether or not there will be animals in heaven. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm Alina Bahadarian. And What's your name again? Alina. Alina, hi. And I was wondering, so in Revelation, it talk, Revelation 19, it talks about how Jesus comes from heaven riding a white horse. Um, and my question is, are there animals in heaven? What a good question, and I know you're hoping there are. <laughs> um, no. Which, as somebody said, means there's also no shovels in heaven, so... Um, we don't have any indication that any being is eternal except human beings. But that is a way to illustrate or demonstrate that the Lord is coming back as a conquering hero. He's riding on a horse, he has crowns on his head, he has a sword, and with that sword he brings judgment. Now that's not an actual sword, and the actual sword actually brings the judgment to every individual. Those are images, and the, the great image of a conquering general in the ancient world was riding on a great white horse in triumph. So that's a picture of the triumph of Christ. But heaven is, is for holy angels and for redeemed people. Now, animals are a common grace. We all enjoy animals. Um, some, some of you are so attached to your animals, the thought that they're not going to be in heaven is disturbing to you. But they are creatures for earthly comfort that will play no role in the perfect comfort of heaven. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Good question.